up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today I am ranking every movie in the MCU so far. This is going from Iron Man to Avengers Endgame and not the re-release of Avengers Endgame as that hasn't come out yet at the time of recording this and it's all in honour in preparation for Spider-Man Far From Home. Really, I'm just going to give one or two sentences talking about what I liked about what I didn't like about it and really if it's really lowly ranked on the list itself, you can expect a lot less to be talked about it. So I'm going to be going from number 22 to number 1. So let's get started. Coming in at number 22, we have Thor The Dark World. Now this is probably the most hated movie in the MCU by most people. And really, I also don't like it either. I think it has one or two good moments. It's definitely got a few entertaining moments to say the least. But overall, it's... A real mismatch of just too many ideas and like squandered opportunities basically. At number 21 we have Captain Marvel. Now this is probably one of the most mediocre movies I've seen in the MCU. I was actually bored when I was watching it in cinemas. I saw so many problems with the movie when watching it and you know I've only seen it once at the time of making this video so maybe it may be higher ranked in the future but as far as I can tell from the first viewing of it it's just nothing special about it really. At number 20 we have Iron Man 2. Now this I was actually debating whether putting it as number 21 or number 20. So this could easily one day just flip with Captain Marvel because this movie like Captain Marvel just tries to do a whole lot and is so poorly written that it's just a mishmash of just uh, just just not good at all to be honest. I, the one thing I can say with this and Captain Marvel Talos was great in Captain Marvel and Justin Hammer is great in Iron Man 2. <laughs> hey. And bringing us out of the 20th spot we have Thor at number 19. Now this first Thor movie wasn't that bad when I remember watching it when I was younger but to be honest now looking back at it and actually re-watching it it wasn't really that great. It was it's fine you know it's a pretty standard movie with an origin story but Holy crap are there way too many touch ankles. Continuing on with origin stories, we have the forgotten MCU movie at number 18 of The Incredible Hulk. Now really, I don't hate this movie that bad much to be honest. I think it's a pretty good movie. It definitely has the best opening credits of any movie in the MCU. I think because of how it tells the story of Bruce Banner um, without you know, having really any dialogue. It's all through these short clips in the opening credits and that's probably the best part of this movie. I love future callbacks with the superhero syndrome and how they run. I love how the Hulk looks in this movie and it's really gritty and Edward Norton is the best Hulk slash Bruce Banner. If you disagree, you know, you just probably love Mark Ruffalo going, hey Tony, uh, I'm not sure about this. Oh uh, yeah, no. I can't stand it. I think it's fine, you know, for the calm sense and stuff, but Edward Norton has a good balance of that on the side of balancing of anger and, you know, calmness and that. Mark Ruffalo can't do angry as hell. So, Incredible Hulk is at number 18. And at number 17, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, I actually do enjoy this movie, but then after doing my rewatch of all these 21 films, it was really hard to actually do really rate this highly I should say because this movie it's fun it's enjoyable there are a lot of mistakes with it though and that's the same set of the first Ant-Man movie as well but I'll get into that later on so Ant-Man and the Wasp is enjoyable but there are a lot of problems with it following that we have Captain America now Captain America was a movie I really didn't like when I first saw it but after multiple rewatches, I actually really do enjoy this movie. I think it has a really strong performance, as pretty much every MCU movie does have, by the main lead. And I really love the romance by Peggy and um, Steve. It's really hard to go wrong with this movie, except for the fact that the action is pretty lackluster. Finally, we have another origin story. At number 15, we have Doctor Strange. Now, Doctor Strange is actually a movie one of my friends really enjoys, and I think it's a fine movie, but it just feels too much like a copycat of Iron Man. And really, I don't find Doctor Strange enjoyable until we see him in Thor Ragnarok and Infinity War, but this movie is enjoyable and it has probably one of the best climactic fights in the MCU with Doctor Strange just go looping over and over and over again with Dormammu. 
and it's not just a CGI fight, while it is pretty much all CGI, it's not... It's different, I should say. It's different. Yeah. And at number 14, we have probably one of the most controversial movies that I'm going to put on this list at this level, I should say, is Black Panther. While I do enjoy Black Panther, I saw it in cinemas and obviously a lot of people did enjoy it because it's so highly rated, earned a lot of money, but really there are a lot of problems with this movie and I think while it is great to see an all-black cast and to see a... Um, area of an African culture represented on the big screen. There are a lot of problems with the writing and some of the CGI looks god awful. So Black Panther's at number 14. Yeah, Black Panther's at number 14 in this list. Finally, we have our first Avengers movie coming in at number 13. And it is not the first Avengers movie. It is Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, I really loved the trailers for this movie. They were amazing. The whole no strings on me. James Spader's voice. Honestly, this trailer, this movie was so hyped up and that was also coming off the back of the first Avengers movie. So I was honestly expecting more and while this is an enjoyable movie and I don't think it's as bad as many people say it is, there are just a lot of movies which are better than it or at least, you know, from a more stylistic and writing perspective, it's a little bit more weaker than the others. Just missing out on the midway spot, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 at number 11. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is a mix mash of great writing, enjoyable moments with some really stupid dialogue and just over the top scenes. And while that's kind of suitable in the whole Guardians of the Galaxy vibe, it's a little distracting and a little um, off putting to an extent. Now, I do enjoy this movie, I think it's great. I love the whole Guardians of the Galaxy cast and crew and everything. You know, something about this movie is just a letdown from the first. Finally, taking the midway spot at number 11, we have Ant-Man. Now, I said earlier that Ant-Man and the Wasp is sharing some problems that Ant-Man also has, and that's really with inconsistencies with the powers. Sometimes he's meant to be really strong when he's little, sometimes he's not. What not. Um, but honestly, I enjoy this movie. It's an enjoyable movie, and I think the villain is actually really great. I really enjoy Yellow Jacket, and um, I think the whole dynamic between the whole cast and everything, and Paul Rudd, you know, was surprisingly great in this movie. And I love Paul Rudd, but I was still so glad that he wasn't just, you know, poorly portrayed in this movie. Next up, we have another controversial movie that's highly ranked on this list, I would say, with Iron Man 3. Now, I love Iron Man 3, and before you were shredding me in the comments or really complaining or sighing or anything like that, yes, I know the Mandarin is not as good as he is in the comics and other forms of media. I do love the Mandarin, but I do enjoy how the movie does it. I found the twist surprising. I saw this movie with my best mate. And we kept on quoting Dora the Explorer Watchers, and we kept on saying, because we're connected, and it's all of these fun moments that I remember. So on a personal level, this movie's being biasedly biased. I'm viewing this movie in a biased perspective. Breaking into the number nine spot, we have Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, this is a really enjoyable movie. It's such a good teen film. It's such a good um, mentor, um, apprentice kind of film with Iron Man and Spider-Man. And it's just so much fun. Is it the best Spider-Man movie? I don't really know. I have to re-watch the Sam Raimi ones to find out. But nonetheless, this is a really good movie, period. Next up, we have Thor Ragnarok. Now, Thor Ragnarok is a movie I didn't like when I first saw it. I thought it was too different from the first few Thor movies. But then after re-watching every movie in se sequential order, really, it's actually a really good movie. And um, I don't think it's too different and too out of place than the first Thor movies. I think this works really well in continuing the story when you take into consideration the Avengers movies. If you don't consider those Avengers movies, then you can say it's a little out of place as a trilogy. But this is the MCU we're ranking, not individual trilogies. So as a whole of the MCU, this movie is really good, it's really entertaining, and that's why it gets the number 8 spot on the list. Finally, at number seven, we have the movie that started it all, Iron Man. Now, Iron Man is one of my personal favorite movies. Iron Man is such an enjoyable movie. I think Obadiah Stane is perfect. Yes, some people do complain about his um, motivations at the end and his ideas, but nonetheless, I still really enjoy it, and Robert Downey Jr. is the perfect casting for this movie. 
Pissing out on the top five at the number six position, we have Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Now, you asked me a few months ago, before I did this rewatch, what my favorite MCU movie was, I would have said The Winter Soldier. I really didn't like this film when it first came out because I didn't like Captain America. I, I didn't like him from the first movie and I just didn't want to like this movie. But then I couldn't help but enjoy it and enjoy it and enjoy it and it's honestly a great movie. It's a great spy thriller. Sure, it's not really as artistic as many people make it out to be, but I still think it's different enough and it's got that whole genre of the whole um, kind of like undercover agents and the whole syndicate kind of thing. And it works really well and I enjoy it. You know, it's a well-made movie and it really kick-started off the Russo brothers' journey in their part of the MCU. Finally, we reached the top five movies in the MCU on my personal list. So coming in at number five, we have Captain America Civil War. The movie that pitched, the movie that had Iron Man versus Captain America while it wasn't as epic as the pages of the comics itself, it was still satisfying to watch. And I honestly was really looking forward this, to this movie and re-watching it several times. It's, it's such a good movie. It's so enjoyable. Sure, there could be a few faults of the writing, but it's nothing that you can really pinpoint because everything else just distracts you from it and makes it an enjoyable movie. At number four, we have the first Avengers. Now, Avengers is a fantastic movie. Sure, it's lit like a TV show, it's filmed like a TV show, but it's still enjoyable. When I'm watching it, I don't really notice there are no cinematic bars. I don't notice all these small things, but I recognize it as a really enjoyable movie. You can see all the heroes come together, and you know, while it's the kind of telegraph to what's going on and everything, you can't just help but have a good time when watching this movie. And now we reach my top three favorite movies in the MCU. Now, these three movies, I feel like any day I could just flip them around. But for now, this is where the list lands. After rewatching Avengers Endgame twice, wishing I could rewatch it a third time. But this is where it stands at the number three spot. Avengers Endgame is an amazing movie. What it does and how it carries on the story and also ends it in such a satisfying way is something I, I really can't put into words. The amount of detail that went into the film, the amount of thought and really just looking at uh, watching the movie a second time, I was looking at the background details. You see Proxima holding the guy she loves as they're being snapped because he's dead already and she just snaps away while he's in his dead body, holding his dead body, sorry. And he's like, you're just noticing these things and the way Thanos sits down and everything when he's dying, the whole I am Iron Man. The portal scene, there are so many great moments in this movie itself and really is just an enjoyable movie. It handles, handles time travel very well and really I can't fault it because it gives a beautiful and satisfying conclusion to the first 11 years of the MCU. Following up Avengers Endgame, we have Guardians of the Galaxy in the number two spot. So Guardians of the Galaxy is easily, easily my favorite non-Avengers movie in the MCU. It is so enjoyable, it really caught me off guard. I remember watching this movie was at the same time I learned to whistle and um, it was so good because Yondu whistled and everything. I kept on whistling after and I loved it because of that as well. And not only because of that, because it's such an enjoyable movie with great characters, great writing. And honestly, it really brought nobodies into the limelight. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 is in the number two spot. And if you haven't figured it out by now, Avengers Infinity War is my favorite movie in the MCU. Not only is this a well-made movie, it shocked me to my core. Now, I did not expect this ending in this movie. I thought Thanos would get one or two stones and that would be it. Maybe kill one or two people, nothing more than that. He gets all the stones. He snaps away half of the galaxy and I'm left on that cliffhanger. And honestly, oh, it's, it's an amazing movie. There's no way to say anything else apart from Infinity War being an amazing movie. Let me know what your favorite and least favorite movie in the MCU is in the comment section down below. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week.
I'll catch y'all next time. See us.